Islamabad. It is uh, approximately 8.30 a.m. and I'm getting ready to go earn money. I just got through exercising. Islam, how you doing today? I <laughs> hope, okay. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Um, what I'm going to start off by saying to you, um, Islam, first of all, I uh, hope you slept well. One of the um, uh, med um, meditation I do until I f um, fall asleep sometimes, in I bath a lot of times, is El Muhammad. I don't know if you know what El Muhammad means. It's an attribute, one of the attributes, 99 attributes of Allah. El Muhammad, okay, is number eight. And one of the 99 attributes of Allah is the protector, okay? Um, you can find it in the Holy Quran, 5923. I'll get it and read it to you, okay? Oh, actually, I have it right here. Oops, never mind. It says, um, and it means the protector. It says, he is Allah, besides whom there is no God. The king, the holy, the author of peace, the grantor, of security okay the grant of security um the guardian overall the mighty the supreme the possessor for, of greatness glory be to allah from that which that set up with him islam so um in that so what i do and i'm just um maybe I, i'm telling you this so maybe you can try to do it as well Okay, and <laughs> you know, it's up to you. Okay, I'm not there. I don't, I'm not able to watch you. But so what I do while I'm falling asleep, I say, and I'll keep saying El Muhammad, even when I'm not mentally, I'm saying El Muhammad until I fall asleep. Then I fall asleep. See, I'm saying El Muhammad. This is, and it means, um, it's one of the nine, nine attributes of Allah. Uh, it means the protector. You can find it um, Surah 59, Ayat 23. Okay. And then when I wake up, I continue to say El Muhammad a few times, or I can choose a number like three. Three is a, a very divi a, di a divine number. All numbers are divine. I can say El Muhammad three times and then say Amin three times. Islam. Okay. Also, um, Another one of the 99 attributes of Allah I want to read to you is uh, called El Baith. Now, um, the it's called elislam.org where I found it. Um, number 50. It's the awakener, the resurrector, the raiser of the dead. And um, I'm going to stop there because of the time on the, um, and I want to um, give you this, um, I'm seeing this video and I have to get ready to earn um, money. But um, it's called um, El Baith. Um, that's all. And when I and I wanted to also explain when I um, say I am um, to ask you to listen and hear, it's it's it doesn't necessarily mean thoughts, Abbas. It doesn't. Spirits of Allah, your ancient um, fellow ancestors, brothers and sisters, ancient ancestral guides, they speak in many ways. But you have to be able to um, hear and listen to hear them. It doesn't mean necessarily thoughts because thoughts come in wavelengths in and out your mental space. Okay? So if a thought is coming in, um, whether it's um, being forced there or it's one of your thoughts you created, you manifest, nonetheless... Um, which if, if it is one of your thoughts you manifest, then possibly yes. But in this day and time where, um, thoughts are easily manipulated through external forces, there's, a, there's other ways to hear and listen to the spirits of Allah. So, and, um, you're among your ancient ancestral, um, um, brothers and sisters, your mom's ancient ancestors, Islam. So um, that's all I, I just wanted to tell you because sometimes people um, just focus on thoughts. There's many ways, okay, that um, um, spirits of Allah communicate. Okay, I'll talk to you about that later, Islam. And it, you are in my prayers. And um, it is January the 11th, 2022. Okay, I exercise. I'm going to see you in the video of me exercising.
I was like, 